G'day! Today we're playing some more of my Flycorp String Challenge. Uh, and what I did between the last time I played is I did let the game run for about 30-40 minutes. So as we go back in here, you can see that we have plenty more Ethiopian cities. Um, a country that does have a huge population, deservedly has a huge amount of cities. And uh, the other neat thing from it is not only did um, Ethiopia get it, but you can see running down in... in uh, this east coast of Africa, we've got lots of cities uh, and South Africa is starting to, to look more uh, built out as well. So the first thing that we're going to do uh, is we're going to add Somalia just to allow Somalia to start like adding additional cities. There you go. See, it's now we've backed up that it's going to give us a few quick ones. Now this is actually looking like we might have a line down here. Uh, to get into Somalia as opposed to using this Ethiopian city. We might actually use that to sort of bounce up. But let's just do a quick check to make sure we haven't had any cities pop up anywhere else. Why are you dropping so low? Just, just have missed you when I had to do my rebuild of Chile. Uh, my my approach to how I could find it bearable to, to sort of just let this go and... Um, uh, and, and let the sort of the game um, go along was I used the, um, I'm not sure if others use it at all, the Steam Link app uh, on my phone. So um, with the Steam Link app from anywhere you can remote to your um, your account if you've never used it before. Pretty much meant that I could sit on my couch and enjoy a few episodes of Bob's Burgers and then just on my phone every now and then just press the tick when I... Uh, um, a notification came up to just allow it to basically continue on. Obviously, there's no punishments here at the moment for uh, for if I do have cities that um, like just do sit unattended. Uh, and we did gain about five hundred thousand, I think. I already have used a hundred thousand of that for Somalia, so. Uh, but I do I do like it. I think that um. It does, it does more likely open up the game for, um, for doing that more often. Uh, I mean, the only problem is it does give me a sudden surge of more cities, so the game may slow up a little bit more. So I think that what we'll do here is go bounce around the outside here and then come back in. I saw a neat map um, yesterday as well. Uh, that was the uh, global population density, uh, which was represented by different lines of, of varying lengths depending on how many people live in any uh, one area. And I, I, if you, you got a chance to see it, or if uh, if you ever want to look it up. It's really neat, uh, especially going through Africa. You can clearly see the the notable countries that we've um we've gone past and how significant, say, Nigeria and Ethiopia, uh, and it's probably uh, this area of, of Kenya and Uganda. As we're doing these upgrades, we've got to make sure we upgrade the planes too, and that we're not missing any because we get ourselves some real gridlocks here. Got more cities in Somalia. That's right too, we do come all the way down here and then loop all the way back up. Let's just follow the line along then. Come down here and we can make this South African line slightly shorter. So this guy is 5,000 and 5,000. This guy could be 3,000 and 4,000. I'm not sure there's any point in connecting back to this guy. Like, he can he can join this half. So let's sell those two lines. And we will go for these two. The 
Then we've got a whole lot of stuff we need to connect in here. So what I think we want to do is get rid of this line. And instead sort of make, I mean, it's going to be sort of removed anyway, but we can make it there. So let's go get rid of that. Get rid of that. And we'll get rid of that. We'll connect those two, these two up. What we'll do as well is get rid of that line. Here we'll go up. I'll just zoom in there. I don't know how to connect Kimberly properly. Without, as long as those two sort of look out, it's still close. Not a fan of uh, that closer connection. Let's get rid of that. We'll go. This goes Port Shepston to Durban to Ladysmith to Ihard. Sorry, Brahid. Bethlehem, that I assume is. A different language, maybe that's Dutch. The Khan's way of spelling Bethlehem. Um, so let's get rid of that anyway. Never would have been happy with it either way. We can just sort of out to those guys and then come back in at Johannesburg just drop in there all right so as we go along let's just make sure that we've got um, correctly upgraded cities and planes Enough. Like I did in another one, I lost the ability to click there momentarily. I do think that it, the sort of reveal of cities that we got here does justify. Um, well, wrong one. Uh, doing this process again, maybe when we reach the end of um, Africa. Because you can see that not only in that sort of 40 minutes did it really open up the amount of cities I had in um, Ethiopia, it actually also opened up just all of the, the countries prior to it. So it doesn't seem like it's something that I have to do every single sort of after each time I play. I don't need to um, do it again, because it was able to, you can see how easily it could go all the way back to South Africa in terms of adding its, um, additional cities. Oh, that's a expensive nowhere city we've got there. Apologies to the one viewing from Lomenfontein. Lomenfontein, I've possibly made it worse because I also can't pronounce you. Your home city. Let's 
keep that on eye on now. Lines. Good. Good. Moving up, moving up. This guy here. Um, obviously, we are jumping a route because it's connected further up than where we're actually up to on the line. Assume it's a Malawian city as opposed to a fake. I did find that with uh, Madagascar names, they are um, sort of spelled as they sound. So it's Antan, Antan, Nan, Navar, Viro, 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 Navar, Anta, Ant, Sarave. So by that logic, this will be Ambats, Ambaton, Draz. Drazaka and Baton Drazaka. Maybe. Certainly not same with the pace that was probably intended. Alright, well at least this one will up the length of that really long flight in half. much matters because I'm sure that that flight was already shorter than the one that was uh, connecting to it on this side. All right. Also we've now got to get sort of up there. So that's 1600 or 6000 rather. That's 6002 so maybe let's just go that. up for us. Malawi definitely got a, a few cities and yeah, must be quite heavily populated. Yeah, good. So this city here now just easily be integrated into Somalia and we can probably come down out of Ethiopia this way or yeah as I say all what we could do is sort of add these three cities to more Kenya I think that this guy is too far away to really do that with I would like to get all three of these in here uh as well so we'll add him because I can't imagine we're gonna get much more than the one city there and we'll add Somali land as well okay so while we're doing this as well let's start with our uh, learning I'm thoroughly enjoying learning about these cities as we move along so sorry these countries Somalia is up first. All right, so officially the Federal Republic of Somalia, a country in the Horn of Africa. So I just want to quickly double check that, that I was right in identifying the Horn of Africa is, yeah, the Horn of Africa is this. So these one, two, three, four, five countries, that's the Horn of Africa. This episode, will it be called The Horn of Africa? Well, you can check the title below, but you know, we say you can, you can assume it will be. Uh, the, to the northwest, the Gulf of Aden. Must be the Gulf of Aden. No, sorry. Djibouti's to the northwest. Beauty is. Hang on. Interesting. 
So when in Wikipedia describing where it is, which the article also does start with, not to be confused with Somali Republic or Somaliland, it says, the country is located in the Horn of Africa, bordered by Ethiopia to the west, Djibouti to the northwest, Gulf of Aden to the north, the Indian Ocean to the east, and Kenya to the southwest. How's it? We'll look at a, a map then and see. It actually does meet with Djibouti in a. Right, okay, so it looks as though on a map, so I'm referencing Google Maps here, does not appear to be two separate countries. Somalia and Somaliland seem to be the same one place. I wonder why Wikipedia is then saying not to be confused with Somaliland. Okay, so I can see that when it shows it on a map on Wikipedia, it is showing area controlled by Somalia shown in dark green. Claimed by uncontrolled Somaliland, shown in light green. So I guess there is a uh, little dispute going on there. I guess we also then have the opportunity to learn about Somaliland separately. The population is 16 million um, as of 2020, which would be, I guess, inclusive of both. Um, interesting that as well, that it means that this does have a recognized capital in some, some respect. Uh, in the late 19th century, Somali salt, Sultanites, like... Isaac Sultanite and Argentine Sultanite were colonized by Italy, Britain, and Ethiopia. European colonists merged with tribal territories into two colonies, which were Italian Somaliland and British Somaliland Protectorate. Meanwhile, the interior, the dervishes led by Muhammad Abdullah Hassan engaged in a two-decade confrontation against Abyssinia, Abyssinia, Italian Somaliland and British Somaliland were finally defeated in the 1920 Somaliland campaign. Italy acquired full control of the north, eastern, central and southern parts of the area after successfully waging the campaign of the Sultanites against the ruling Margentine Sultanate and Sultanate of Obio. In 1960, the two territories united to form the independent Somali Republic under civilian government. Um, Supreme Revolutionary Council seized power in 1969 and established the Somali Democratic Republic. Brutally attempting to squash the Somali War of Independence in the north of the country, the SCR subsequently Collapsed 22 years later, in 1991, with the onset of the Somali Civil War, and Somaliland soon declared independence. Somaliland still controls the northwestern portion of Somalia, representing just over 27% of its territory. Alright, there you go. So it's been... Been holding there for a while. Like give this guy to these cities as well, actually. Um, I'm not sure he'd be much better off anyway, so leave it as is. So um, get rid of that and that, and we'll go up. Down, down, cross. Uh, 
Looks like we're still just gaining Somalia cities, I think. Oh, no, we've got a new guy down here too. I do like how now fleshed out the um, uh, Africa, the Eastern Africa is looking with all these additional cities. Get these guys sorted out. Nope, not him. Um, this guy here, um, Cindy. That one. Yep. Thought I had the plane, not the. Oh. The amount of so the amount of time that I spent um, just letting myself accrue money and gain cities, it looks as though that was worth less than the amount of work I would have to do to add all those cities. I think there are a lot of planes though that I also hadn't upgraded that are now so enjoying an upgrade. Alrighty, so now to South Sudan there before we start going into Ethiopia. Let's uh, learn about our next city which would be Somaliland city next country um, officially the Republic of Somaliland uh, is a de facto state in the Horn of Africa considered internationally to be part of Somalia uh, yeah uh, its claimed territory has, has an area of 176,000 square feet uh, square kilometers rather not square feet wouldn't be very big um, Approximately 5.7 million residents as of 2021. So it it's claimed all of this area, but it controls about all of this area. So this part here is obviously in contention, which isn't surprising being the uh, border. All right, let's um, let's bring. I'm gonna, I'm gonna guess it's the T's with the second half of this word, so it's Eritrea. Eritrea. I don't feel like I've ever said that out loud before, unless I've said it before in this video. Uh, series. Has an estimated population of 4.1 million in 2020, and estimated population of 5.7 in 2021. It feels like quite a surge. So I think these cities here will all stick to this ground side and so it is just we need to go up to Gondar. Come back down. Uh, what are we going to do here? We're going to jump over to Chima. all the way down all the way down just upgrading this guy I would say no nope, not him 
it's just playing. Alright, then we bounce up to this guy. All right, next up, Djibouti. Djibouti, officially the Republic of Djibouti. Uh, which I feel like if you ever do trivia, and one of the trivia questions is, what is the official name of X African country? I feel like the answer is always going to be the Republic of um, country in the Horn of Africa, bordered by Somalia to the south, Ethiopia to the southwest. Tria to the north, and the Red Sea and the Gulf of Aden to the east. Population, as of 2020, 900,000. Not the biggest country here. Smallest country in mainland Africa, population-wise. Possibly size-wise as well, too, maybe. Be close. Or maybe not. Uh, French and Arabic are the country's two national languages. Sorry, they're the two official languages. Afar and Somali are national, lang uh, national languages. About 94% adhere to Islam. It must be a there's must be a shift there as well because it seems like a lot of these I, I don't think I said them out at all but in reading them it seemed like there was a lot of Christianity um, I guess coming from all that European ownership but uh, um, understandably these guys are quite close to Islamic nations. Djibouti is near some of the world's busiest shipping lanes, controlling access to the Red Sea and Indian Ocean. It serves as a key refueling and trans shipment center and the principal maritime port for imports from and exports to neighboring Ethiopia. Oh yeah, I bet that means that Djibouti's sub 1 million population might be quite well off then if they can control all that. Uh, the, the country is named for its capital, the city of Djibouti. Uh, under French administration from 1883 to 1967. It also was uh, returned in the, in the 60s, along with everyone else. And then that probably gives us just enough time to learn about Atria. Officially, the state of Atria uh, is a country in the Horn of Africa, capital and largest city of Asmara. Uh, it has obviously extensive. Uh, coastlines along the Red Sea. It includes some islands as well. And the Dalak Archipelago. Uh, Archipelago. So that is a word that I know out loud but do not read often. Uh, population as of. Give me a population. Not have a population for you. Where did we just get a city? It's not in the horn. Actually, it might not stand out to me because I'm used to the, all those new cities being red. There's one. These ones where I thought, thought everything was done. 
but I've already upgraded my trains. Trains, planes. There we go. Population estimate, no year given. Somewhere between 3.6 and 6.7 million. Human remains found in a tree area have been dated to 1 million years old. Uh, research indicates that it may contain significant records related to the evolution of humans. Uh, contemporary Tria is a multi-ethnic country with nine recognized ethnic groups. Nine different languages are spoken by the nine recognized ethnic groups. Most widely spoken language being Tigrinia. Tigrinia. The others the others being other languages that I'm not familiar with. Uh, which I feel like if they're all speaking different languages, either they're going to be very sort of, maybe they're regioned, so that you only communicate with people within your region, or there's um, more universal languages. I always find that interesting about um, India, that uh, generally they if you're changing which region you are, where they speak different languages, English is the uh, is the common language, courtesy of the yeah, the English going in there and trying to standardize itself. Oh, there's some cool rock art uh, in the tree. They to about a hundred thousand years old. Well, did not need to do that. So why were you so I suppose you've been sitting there a long time waiting for anyone to have a plane connected to you and now you've got one, so I think fifty people move back and forth. We'll allow it. city in there doesn't come up in this section yeah the Yaska Gave me a lot of things to get done in that one. Having so many uh, cities there. What I think I'll do though is that I'll get these five countries, and then once I've got them, I'll um let it I'll let it run for a while to um make sure that you leave Africa with a true bearing of city numbers, not just the amount that can happen while I'm, I'm running it on, on normal speed. I need to be upgrading those planes either. Looks like possibly the Italians controlled um, Korea for a little while. So I think after 
uh, or mid World War uh, Two, and Mussolini, British, then came in and took Trier's administration. And then in the 1950s, Ethiopia tried to annex Tria. And then in 1950, in December 1950, Tria was federated Ethiopia under prompting the United States. Uh, and then in 1958, uh, group founded to try and get them uh, independence and looks like they finally got it in 19 90 well they had a war with Ethiopia in 1998 to 2000 Eventually resolved in 2018. In April 2021, Atria confirmed its troops were fighting in Ethiopia. So maybe it's still going on. Maybe there is still much disagreement between Atria and Ethiopia about who controls it. Where do we want to connect you in? Maybe this way. Alright, but that'll... um. Thanks to the end of this one. Thanks for watching as we journeyed the Horn of Africa. Uh, I would say that we want to go... I'm not even sure what order I want to take these next ones in. I think Niger is going to be the last one. Just to get... Um... Uh... Just because, yeah, we'll see where we get cities in Chad and Libya. And... Um connect them all around the place there we go any questions or comments feel free to chuck them below there we are admire the horn uh and until next time catch you later see ya